Are you tired of not being able to change your navigation keys on Android? Well, now you don't have to be. Hey guys, what's up? This is Wong with Gadget Spot, and this is how to change the navigation keys on your Android device. So the first thing you have to do is get an app called Soft Keys. And with and but before we do that, I want to give you a little background information. With Android, you can pretty much change anything. You can change the launcher to a, to a bunch of to a variety of different launchers that let you change a lot of things, and you can download different widget packs from the Play Store as well. The best thing is that you can also download custom icon packs and customize your device to look and feel to whatever you want. You can make the icon size 70% with the Square icon pack. Also, widgets are a great way to customize your Android device if you want information at a glance. And with some recent updates, you can add widgets to the lock screen. But where can you knock? Where is the hardest place to customize your Android device that would be most useful to make it look better? The navigation bar. The navigation bar on Android has looked the same since it's been updated. And now, if you want to customize it, you have to get you have to have, be rooted and install custom ROM in recent years. But an app has aimed to solve this. This app is called Soft Key Z Root. So, of course, like the name implies, you are going to need Root, and it's $1.99 in the Play Store, but it's well worth it if you're getting tired of your stock navigation buttons look. Especially if you're, like, like let's say, on a Nexus device and don't like the regular home button and want to get that new leak to Google, Google New Layout. So, as you can see here, I have the HTC One M8 buttons on my Nexus 5, and they have been changed fully from the stock Google um, navigation buttons that I really don't like because I think they're just too cluttered and too big for my liking so I changed them to the HTC One M8 pack that you can get within the Soft Key Z application and I'll show you how to do that in a few seconds but first let's take a look at the prerequisites you have to do to use this app so of course you're going to need root and but another prerequisite is you're going to need BusyBox to install this app and BusyBox pretty much comes with root, so if you're rooted, that shouldn't be a problem. But if for some reason BusyBox did not come with your phone after you rooted it, you can get BusyBox from the Play Store for free, I believe. Just look up BusyBox in the Play Store search bar, and it should be there. After that, you're gonna wanna. After that, you're gonna wanna install. You're gonna wanna go to the SoftKeyZ app in the play in your app drawer, and then you're gonna wanna grant it super, per, super user permission when it asks you if you wanna grant it. And then you can see all the custom buttons that SoftKeyZ offers, and there are a bunch of ones like the Roboto text font, and the PSP buttons if you want those. So let's say you want to make your home button green, your recent button orange, and your back button purple. You might not want to make these changes, but I'm just giving an example, and if you want to clear the changes you made, just click on the X. Again, there's a wide array of buttons here, and you will be spoiled for choice with this gallery. But Developers have taken things to their own hands as they're not satisfied with the array of buttons the soft keys offered and have made an online gallery where you can create your own soft keys buttons. And I, as you can see, there I use the HTC One M8 pack. There are a bunch of other cool buttons here listed in the app. Again, there's a wide array of buttons in the soft key Z application that I really like using. My favorite so far has been the HTC One M8 pack because it gives me the HTC One M8 look and feel on my device. So that was soft keys. And I really like soft keys because it provides a great user experience overall that I really like to use. Soft keys is a great app, especially if you're tired of your phone's stock look and want to change the navigation buttons on your device. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more to get the best content of tech and everything tech related. And also make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, as it does really help out the channel. Comment any feedback you may have. And lastly, make sure to go to GadgetSpot.com to check out all the best coverage. And as always, we're GadgetSpot, your source for all things tech.